Hello, welcome everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to cover uh, how to evaluate a function for a given value of x or the independent variable. So let's start with our example. Uh, we have this function x squared plus 3 and we want to evaluate this function at x equals 2 and at x equals x plus h. So we have a function f of x f of x equals x squared plus 3. And we want to evaluate it at x equals 2. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this value of x into our function. So we have f of the function value of at 2. We plug in 2 for x wherever we have x. And we go ahead and solve this. So we have f of 2 equals this. 2 squared plus 3. Now we take the square of 2 which is 4 and then plus 3 equals 7. So f of 2 is then equal to 7. Now what if you are not given a numerical value like this? What if you are given uh, some number of variables that you want to evaluate this function at? So we do the same thing here. f of... Instead of 2, we're going to evaluate the function at x plus h. Okay, so we plug in this x plus h for x wherever we have in the function. And then we plug in x plus h and we square that plus 3. Alright, so now we go ahead and simplify this. Now this is the square of x plus h, so it would become x square. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to open it up a little bit so everybody can see like that. Okay, now you just multiply the terms. So we have x squared plus xh plus hx plus h squared plus 3. Okay, now whenever we have x times h or h times x, uh, they are the same. So we're going to go ahead and rearrange them just xh plus xh plus h square plus 3 and then on x square and now we have xh and xh so we have 2xh and then h square plus 3. The reason I'm doing this but once we do the derivatives uh, this is going to help us because we are going to use the definition of derivative so we're going to see a function like this one when we evaluate the definition of derivative so make sure um, you do understand this well. Now let's do the next example. We have same thing and we want to evaluate our expression at x equals a plus b and x equals x plus k. So we go ahead and write down our function first f of x equals x squared plus 3. And then we go ahead and substitute this value for x for the first one a plus b. So f of a plus b and we plug in a plus b here and square that plus 3 and then we go ahead and solve this so a plus b square is a plus b times a plus b plus 3 so we have we multiply this so a times a is a square plus a times b plus b times a is also b a plus b times b is b square plus 3. So we have a square plus a b and b is also b times a is the same as a b. It's a multiplication so the order does not matter. Plus b square plus 3. Now we get a square and then we have a plus b a times b plus a times b is 2ab plus b squared plus 3. So this is the value of the function at x equals a plus b. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing right here. Now we have f. We want to see what is the value of function at x plus k. So we do the same thing. We plug in x plus k wherever we have x. So we go ahead and do that. Uh, this becomes 
x plus k squared plus 3. All we did is substitute this x plus k for the x in the function. Then we go ahead and simplify this. This is x plus k times x plus k plus 3. And then you go ahead and multiply the terms inside. So x goes to x is x squared. x goes to k is x times k. And k multiplies with x is k times x, which is kx. And then k times k is k squared plus 3. And then we go ahead and just rearrange these x times k because there's x times k plus k squared plus 3. So we have x squared and then we add these two x times k x times k or 2xk and then we have 8k squared plus 3. Okay, so these are the values of the function at x plus k and this is the value of the function at a plus b. All right, this is going to help us when we actually go into the derivatives. So make sure you practice few and that would help.